Okay, so you just got your new GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition camera or whichever one. And uh, you open it up, you're all ready to use it. Then you see this black piece of paper that says, Before using your Hero 3 camera, a product update is required. Please visit GoPro.com slash update. Okay, so <coughs> I'm going to go to GoPro.com slash update. You're gonna go to this, and it's you're gonna need to use uh, Internet Explorer for this. So if you're used to using uh, Google Chrome or Firefox, uh, you're gonna have to use Explorer. Actually, I just think it's Chrome that doesn't work. I think Firefox works, and Safari. But you're gonna have to use uh, one of those. You can't use Chrome because Chrome is a uh, it's, it's not the right format kind of thing. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay. Oh, right here we go. Hero 3 update. Okay, so you can click on it. And then it's trying to detect the Java and stuff. For me, I did this when there was a whole bunch of other people who I was assuming doing that at the same time, so it took a while. Okay, so basically you're going to follow the instructions on there. So, you're going to have a blank SD card in there because you haven't used it yet. You're just going to turn your camera on. You're just going to take any any photo at all. Make sure the wireless is off. Make sure you have decent amount of battery. Two-thirds battery is fine. Even one-third as long as it just switched. So then just connect your camera to the computer and uh, follow the instructions. And it pretty much does it all itself. Then once it finishes its thing, yeah, you can disconnect your camera and then you turn it on and it'll power on and off ten times or so. Uh, it takes about ten minutes, that part. Um, all in all, it should take around half an hour, forty minutes. So, now, once you get that done, uh, go ahead and use your camera and stuff. And if you want to upload stuff to, say, YouTube, okay, so once you have your video taken, take your camera out of its case, take the little door on the uh, side off, and then just pop the micro SD card out. And when you bought your micro SD card, it came with a uh, an adapter that you just need to plug into either your computer or a um, card reader, and then just plug that into your computer. Okay, and then if nothing pops up, you can go to my computer, and it should be, should be someplace in here. Maybe. Not sure what all the beeping is. I don't usually use this computer for all this. This is a uh, laptop computer, so. Um, let's see. What's this? Just X out of that. Um, hmm. I'm not really sure why it's not working right now. Anyways, you'll get the, uh, you just pull the, it'll be like GoPro 001 in a video file, MP4, I think. So then you'll just pull that off, and you can put it on your desktop and rename it, edit it with whatever your favorite software is. Um, and then from there, you just click on Upload right here. This is on YouTube now. And then you can just find it on your um, uh, desktop or you can and then just drag and drop it or you can click right here and it'll bring this pop up and you can you know maneuver however you need to to get to the uh, uh, video and then from there it's just normal uploading and that's that's about it. I'm not sure how often um, 
the GoPro needs to be updated, but I'm hoping that uh, they send an email or something every time it needs to be updated. So anyways, once you're done with that, you just put the SD card back in, put the door on, and then just put it back in its waterproof case, and you're ready to go take some more awesome pictures and videos. So thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to um, comment if this helped you at all. And also uh, if you have any other ideas on videos.